Hi, Jason Knott with CE Pro, and we're talking about outdoor audio today with Michael Barato, product manager, component audio for Klipsch. Michael, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jason. Glad to be here. Why is wide dispersion important in outdoor audio environments? Yeah, very good question. So traditionally in a home theater or a two channel listening environment, uh, you have a predictable listening area. You know, you know where the uh, listener is going to be sitting. You can focus the sound right at that sweet spot. Uh, and there's not really a variable there. But with an outdoor system, you know, you have large outdoor spaces. People are wandering around. People are mingling. People aren't always sitting in the same spot. So you don't really have a focused uh, listening area, you don't have a focused sound stage necessarily. So uh, with an outdoor system, a lot wider dispersion is generally necessary just to have a more balanced sound. You're again, not trying to focus sound to the listening area, but you want a full uh, wide breadth of dispersion. So you don't get holes in the listening area. You don't get hot spots in the listening area. You want a full balanced a uh, nice even dispersion, nice even distribution of that sound. Now the Tractrix horn that Klipsch products have used for over 70 years now, we have long touted, touted the benefits of controlled dispersion, you know, focusing the sound uh, at that listening area. With our outdoor products, we've actually started to design horns with a much wider dispersion, uh, 90 degrees dispersion and above. Our new landscape system uses 105 degrees degree dispersion pattern. Same with our new rock speakers uh, in our pro series. So a lot wider dispersion. You still get the benefits of that horn, which is more dynamic, more efficient, more detailed sound, but you're not dealing with uh, such a focused sound that you get uh, holes in the listening area and, and gaps in the, in the dispersion. All right. A lot of integrators are proficient in the indoor environment, as you mentioned. What are some of the mm -hmm. challenges they face when they move into the outdoor audio environment? Yeah, yeah, good question. Well, frankly, especially since the recession, more and more people are starting to uh, have entertainment spaces outside. Once again, there's a lot of money being spent on outdoor living spaces. So it's not just speakers, it's, it's TVs, it's outdoor kitchens, and of course, outdoor audio. We're seeing a lot of growth in all of those segments. And people are, are really focused on since they're spending more time outside, creating more modern, uh, more design-oriented living spaces. So there's more attention to detail being spent in or being, being paid to aesthetics of the outdoor space. Obviously, Klipsch uh, specifically wants to have a, a premium uh, sound or listening experience. We will always have that. But we are now uh, really trying to appease the end user and appease the installer uh, in making really more stealth-like uh, outdoor speakers. You'll see a, a proliferation of landscape satellites, a uh, proliferation of burial subwoofers, a lot more rock speakers being sold uh, as an alternative to surface mount sort of on the side of the house speakers. So really we want uh, to, to give users that, that premium listening experience that we've always had, but really hiding away those solutions uh, as much as possible. And that's a big challenge for integrators nowadays. We actually offer a service. Uh, it's an email service called Pro System Design at Klipsch.com. That's the email address. It's a completely free service. Uh, we have a couple engineering uh, pros on the on the team that will actually take a look at, at product specs, um, layout of design area, whether it's an outdoor living space, a home theater, really anything. Uh, and they'll they'll give some great design tips, some great product tips. Uh, and it's a totally free service, about a 48 hour turnaround. So, so we wanna, we wanna give the integrators tools to, to really make their end user happy, not just from a listening standpoint, but also from an aesthetic standpoint. All right, what are some of the pros and cons of 70 volt audio systems for outdoor? Yeah, yeah, uh, very good question. So traditionally in residential, uh, distributed audio, whether it's outdoor or indoor, uh, integrators are used to doing the 8 ohm connection, right, or low impedance connection, which is one speaker to one amplifier channel. 70 volt it's really comes from the commercial side, uh, but it offers a, a few different pros. So installation flexibility, you're actually able to daisy chain 70 volt speakers together. You're not tied to one speaker for one amp channel. So really you're using less amplifier channels, 
Uh, you can do longer runs with 70 volt uh, with using less speaker wire. And frankly, it's easy system expansion because I have uh, a essentially a home run back to the amplifier from one speaker. I can then chain off of that speaker throughout the rest of the um, throughout the rest of the system. So if I want to expand from the swimming pool into sort of a garden or grill area at a later time, I can do that without having to dig another trench back to the house. So very simple to use, very simple to uh, add on to, very simple to install. Now, a couple of cons uh, to 70 volt or 100 volt systems. Traditionally, low quality transformers are used in the speakers, which have a tendency to saturate the sound, uh, particularly low frequencies. It's really hard to get uh, impactful cinematic bass out of a out of a low quality 70 volt speaker. Uh, we actually, on the clip side, we use uh, custom designed high quality transformers that really eliminate a lot of that, that issue. So you're able to get very premium, very high quality sound out of a 70 volt speaker. Another con uh, is that 70 volt speakers and 70 volt amplifiers are generally more expensive than their 8 ohm or low impedance counterparts, but obviously with the savings in amplifiers and wire, um, or using less wire, I should say, uh, they tend to balance each other out. And obviously there's a lot more labor savings uh, in, in putting together a 70 volt system. On the clip side, uh, we do offer a full breadth of 70 volt and outdoor products. We have decades of experience in, in both of these categories. Our Pro Series landscape speakers, our Pro Series rock speakers, and our CA series of surface mount outdoor speakers are 8 ohm compatible as well as 70 volt. So they do have 70 volt or 100 volt multi taps, but you can use them as an 8 ohm solution uh, with that 8 ohm bypass as well.